previously I showed you guys Maya's protocol interface where I was manipulating the object on screen. I have created a setup where I'm manipulating everything like it's a pan opticon. So there are multiple things in this. I'll just quickly show you. Before I start, this is my setup. I just want you to have a look. There's a servo on the left and the right, which is like a steering. It's connected to my Arduino Wi-Fi board. There's a buzzer connected and there's an LCD screen that's idle right now. I also have a PIR sensor here, which is basically going to help understand if there is somebody or there's any heat interference. And there's a joystick controller, which will help us understand a couple of protocol stuff that I'm just going to quickly show you. First, I'm just going to upload this code into my board and you guys can see what's going to happen. While it's loading, I just want you to pay attention to what's going to appear on my LCD screen. So presence has been detected, which means my PIR sensor that you can see here, it has already detected that there is a person or there is a heat interface in front of it. So everything is live on the board. I'll just quickly run the Python code and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is basically it. I've created three versions. Previously, you looked at the Omni protocol in my previous video. Uh, right now I have the pan opticon so before I start I just want to let you know you can see the object on my screen right it's a window and you can see all the interactions I'm just zooming in so that first of all you can see what I'm talking about I have monolith I have a singularity I have a plasma Tesla hybrid weaver and architect I'll show all of them right but I want you to understand that my robotic interface will also be working when I shift between these modes so I'll show you that as well so in monolith, what's going to happen is I can manipulate the object on screen, right? I can make it minimize and I can maximize it and I can do all of this and I can move it around. The thing is, I can also manipulate this using the joystick that I have here. So when I move my joystick left or right, you're going to see that there is a wind that you can notice at the bottom of the screen that's also being manipulated. So this is purely controlled using my joystick. So wind is basically just telling me where the coordinates are. Right now it's out of the screen because I've created a huge coordinate space but when I use my fist it comes back into my arms it's beautiful right let me take it to the next one so what I've done is I use two victory fingers to shift in singularity uh, it looks like we're in a galaxy so when I do my fist like this you can see everything assembles right here right and when I open both of my hands you can see that the distribution of the particles has, is across the screen and when I fist again it all comes back to me the same thing is displayed on my LCD screen it says you know the mass is locked when I open my hand and I take my hand away from the screen now it is scanning but when I bring it back it's locked, right? I'm just going to show the next one also. When I go to Plasma, it's a simple interface. It's like, I've taken inspiration purely from Avatar The Last Airbender where it's water and fire and I've just 